How many days have you been cooped up in your houses? I know that many of you are worried on what will happen to your gameplay once you get back. But there are exercises or there are drills you can do at home which can be helpful so that when you go back, it's not totally from scratch. Hi, I'm Coach Kenny Asuncion and welcome to Badminton ABCs, where I teach you how to level up your game and all things badminton. Do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. I know many of you are very worried, you know, in terms of what's going to happen, um, in terms of your gameplay, um, your worries about your stamina. But you know what? Even for your stamina, there are drills that you can do at home. Instead of worrying your days away, I will be giving you some tips or drills to do for this lockdown so it doesn't mean that you have limited space that you can't do much actually there's many things that you can do so in this video I'll be showing you some drills and exercises which can help make your games better this drill is called walling walling is hitting the shuttle to the wall strong enough so it comes back strong and you practice your reflexes and your leg works so this is one of my favorite because I used to do this as a kid when I wasn't allowed to have you know trainings on the weekdays because back then when I was younger and in school I can only go to trainings on the weekends so on other days that I don't have much homework or bored at home I'd normally push my bed and use the wall for walling so now I'm going to push the sofa and have the wall. Okay, perfect. So now I have a big space, but okay, since the wall is colored, make sure that the shuttle you use is not the dirty one because it's going to mark on the wall. So I suggest to use, you know, a pretty good shuttle that, that has a very clean core. Okay, so from here, I'm going to do walling. Hit, hit squat a bit, push the shuttle forward, forward, forward. There's a lot of control. Now, if you hit the shuttle soft, like if you hit it like this, it's gonna go close down to the wall. So as much as possible, try to hit it slightly strong depending on your space. So for me, I have to control the strength because if I hit it too strong, the shuttle will come back a lot stronger back to me and close to my body. But then, you can also practice that. On the other hand, there will be shots when you hit it slightly going up, not so good, okay? So the key here is you're practicing your forearm and your wrist. challenging but there's so much control so even the face of your racket when you actually hit it to the wall it has to be controlled if you just swing it big it goes to many sides so you want to have it controlled I want you to make sure that you're squatting and you're moving so it's a bit challenging because you kind of feel a bit tired so you even have to move, keep moving, and hit the shuttle. For people who are injured and still want to do walling, you can actually put the chair or in this case, sit on the sofa, but you have to have a more accurate hit to the wall because you want it specifically to come back to you. So where you aim it is you know, very crucial so that it comes back straight at you. So you will see here Enrico Chioni, doing it without moving, focusing only on his hand, his forearm, his wrist. If you have an access to a garage, you can also do the walling here. Like for instance, this is our parking space. So we just move the car to the visitor's parking. And then now I have a bigger space. Probably the only thing challenging will 
will be the wind. But everything else, since it's um, it's you know relatively closed in most areas, it should be okay to do walling. to do the leg exercises okay so we're gonna be focusing on leg and body movement this is very similar to jogging with exercises except that you're doing most of the exercises technically in place just needing a small space okay so we're going to do a 10 minute you know 10 minute workout on your leg exercises but before we do let me just remind you to make sure that you were able to warm up before doing any exercise at home okay because you don't want to injure yourselves so make sure you're warmed up well because i did warm up before i started shooting for this leg exercise okay so let's start with the simple leg movements front middle switch side middle okay So this is the slow version of it, okay? Getting the feel of the leg movement, then you can do it faster. So you'd like to do this for about 40 seconds, okay? Slow and fast interchanging. Fast again. Slow. Stop. So you have a 20 second stop where you can just really take your deep breaths, deep inhale, slowly exhale to catch your breath again, or you can jog in place for those 20 seconds. Okay. So next exercise, crisscross. This is the big, this is the small. Once again, big, small, big, small. You can take longer in different positions. So it's really up to you. You can look at your time, time it, 40 seconds for exercises. 
then stop. So take your break, take a deep breath, either by walking around, focusing on your breath, or you can jog in place. Next is twisting. So move upper body and lower body going the opposite direction. This is small. Big. Put your leg out. Your inner thigh must go out as you twist. Small. Big. Small. Big. 40 seconds on the exercise. 20 seconds. Rest or slow jogs. Next, just lunge step forward. So, hands on your waist. Now, make sure when you lunge, knee is above the ankle. Go back. And focus on the back leg to, to make sure it's stretching. And go down. Up, down, up. So you can do this like 10 pairs or even 20 pairs. So it's up to you where your level is. Make sure you're doing it correctly. Upper body is up, not going down. Okay, not going down with your legs. Keep your body straight up. Just move the leg forward. Okay, so again, take your 20 seconds rest. Focus on the breathing, slow. Inhales through your nose, slowly exhale through your mouth, okay? So next exercise, knees up. Higher, 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 fast. Slow. Fast. Slow. Take your 20 second break. Next leg exercise is sort of like a cha-cha dance movement. So we put a base foot. My left leg is my base foot for now. So left leg step, front, right leg goes front, step, back, step, front, step, back. Okay, so this is how you do it slow. When you want to do it fast, movement is smaller. Slow again. 40 seconds, alternating fast and slow, stop, then you have to change it to the other side, right leg now becomes your base foot, base foot, left leg front, base foot, left leg back, okay, so this is how you start it. After 40 seconds, take your break. Either fully stopping but focusing on your deep breathing or you can jog in place. Okay, so next exercise, I'll be doing it sideways. Squat, then leg out. So from this position, to the side, to the side. Okay, you can do about 10 pairs to 20 pairs, depending on your strength. 
your stamina. Okay, so we'll continue on with the toe and heel touches. You can do it slightly faster if you want. Then go back to slow. Hand and leg coordination, important. So do that for 40 seconds. Take your break. Focus on the breathing. Deep inhales. Slowly exhale through your mouth. Okay, you're working on the breathing. Okay, next is kangaroo jumps. Um, I may not do it justice, but this is the best way I know how to do it. You can do like 10 of it, 10 counts, then take a break, do another 10. So the goal is to touch your thigh to your chest as high as you can. Okay, for my last exercise, we're gonna do shadow play. How? We'll focus on doing it one step. Okay, so only one step. For 40 seconds, just go. exercises but guys there's more to it so I'm just giving you 10 and you finish off doing jumping jacks 10 fast 10 medium 10 slow that's easy to do at home and with limited space is just to get an empty bottle and fill it up with water so you can fill it up with probably you know um, half the bottle or the entire bottle depending on um, your strength so you can take the bottle make sure um, there's nothing to hit beside you if you can get those um, water bottles it's fine too uh, less risk of you know breaking it or um, letting it fall off your hand so make sure you grip it properly and just do this strengthen your wrist sometimes you're just watching TV and you can do this or you can even squat a bit and slightly move this way the feeling of doing a defense now if you want to be more specific just do one side okay or just the forehand side okay so wrist movement be careful not to drop it or maybe it would be safer to put uh, a yoga mat or whatever that can you know um, prevent it from breaking so put something here in front in case you drop it okay so if not then just you can do this this is one of my favorite exercises way back when I was still you know um, in a competitive time so you just work out your wrist now since you have a lot of time in your hands do the left side as well try to even out um, the exercises on both because for badminton players definitely one side is slightly bigger than the other side so dominant hand and leg is usually bigger okay so do this easy exercise every day Another thing you can do on a daily basis would be wall squats. So wall squats is very basic, very simple, but really good for your knees and your legs. Okay, so key things to remember, touch your whole upper body to the back, okay? And then go, go a bit lower, but knees must be above your ankle. So lean back, hands to the side, Focus on your breathing. For the more advanced ones, 
you can slightly slightly push your knee like there's a ball here in the middle because it makes it a bit harder so maybe you can put a towel or a block or a ball that you can squeeze okay squeeze it in so you're pushing your knee your thigh inwards okay so you can time your wall squats approximately um, between 30 seconds to a minute or maybe even a minute and a half and two minutes so depending on your strength you can do this on a daily basis I know I've been just doing it for a few good seconds but I'm starting to feel it already but I want to hang in there and just focus on my breathing so breathe do not focus on how hard or you know how your legs are feeling focus on your breathing just keep going breathe flatten your back to the wall okay focus on the breathing after one minute is up take a 30 second break to a minute and do it again you can do this for approximately three to five sets an exercise that you can do at home is the skipping rope so you can do the single jumps which looks like this it can be feet together it can be alternated this is a very good exercise both for your stamina and your wrist now if you want it to be on a more advanced level the difficult one you can do a double your exercises at home let me know on the comment section below do hit that subscribe button level up your game and be the next smashing success